So, yesterday, my son and, and my niece, my nieces asked me to take them to the store. So, as I'm taking them to the store or whatever, we get to the store, we pull up, I park the car. So, when I park the car, I let them go in the store. And I told them, hurry the fuck up. Don't make me come in there and get y'all. Get what y'all need and hurry up and come on. So, when I was sitting there in the car, another car pulled up next to me in park. I look over, it's um a black dude with a white girl in the charger or whatever. So, I ain't paid them no mind. I'm sitting here waiting on the kids. I decided to get out to go get me a cup of ice or whatever from inside the store where the kids was at. So, I get out. I go in the store. Get my cup of ice or whatever. Came back out. Left the kids in the store and told them hurry the fuck up. I paid for my shit and I got back in the car. Before I can get in the car, I, I heard the dude said, Excuse me. Excuse me. I ain't paid him no mind. I kept walking. Y'all already know how I did. He said, excuse me, black queen. So I turned around and I was like, yes. All snappy and shit. With an attitude and shit. So he was like, hi, how you doing? I was like, I'm good. You know, he was like, welcome to the area. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. He was like, it's good to see, you know, black queens around here. Blah, 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 blah. Long story short, this nigga was five, six, had like two, two strings of fucking dreads in his head. I don't know what the fuck he, what kind of hairdo it was, but the shit looked at a hot mess. He stands about maybe five, six, two little fucking pieces of dreads on top of his head or whatever. So... He's still standing there telling me, well, welcome to the area and shit like that. So, I ain't paid it no mind. I just told him, oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? He was like, it's good to see black people. He was like, every time I see a black person, I want to interact with them and shit. So, I'm like, all right, whatever, whatever. Don't worry about where I'm at. Don't worry about that. That's not the point of the story. The moral of the story is... My son... Came out the store. My son is 13 years old. He stands six fucking three. The dude I was talking to was like five, six. My son come out the store. Then say, hi, how you doing? What is you and this man talking about? He say, yo, bro. I was like, when the fuck his voice started sounding like Barry White and shit? You know what I'm saying? My son motherfucking put on this big ass deep voice to match the height that he got and told the man straight up, yo, she taken. My husband wasn't even there. And my son decided to tell this man he don't even know what the fuck the man was talking to me about. Yo, bro, she taken. He was like, oh, nah, oh, nah. <laughs> it ain't even nothing like that. Mind you, my son, my son is looking over his head. So he was like, oh, nah, bro, it ain't nothing like that. He was like, nah, I ain't trying to holler at your moms, yo. First of all, little boy, mind your business. Second of all, if he was trying to holler, I would already told him I was fucking happily married. But the fact that blowed my mind is how deep this boy made his voice to match his height so he can tell this grown man that his mama's taken while my husband is at the house. Hmm. Hmm. Yo, bro. She taken. I waited till we got in the car, closed the door, pulled off. I couldn't even say shit. I just kept on looking at my son like, you can make your voice get that deep. He was like, oh, I thought he was trying to holler at you, mom. Boy, shut up.